everyone, how are you? Hello everyone, how are you? Hello everyone, how are you? How are you today? Good morning, it's Thursday. You should have completed some clear board work and then looked at all of the digraphs and then the digraph reading picture PowerPoints. Today we're going to have a spelling test, however, I want you to show me just how clever you are. Can you write 1 to 10, 1 to 10 today, down the side of your page or clear board with your brackets? Press pause while you go and do that if you want to. Welcome back. Today I'm going to give you a spelling test without even telling you what the sound to write. You're probably thinking, how will you know what sound to write then? I'm just going to show you the action. So I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to show you the action. You are going to watch the action with your eyes and then you're going to write down the sound. Okay, are you ready? The action for your first sound is this. Number one is Remember you can still press pause if you need to Sound number two is this one If you're not sure of any of them just put a cross and nobody can say to you why didn't you get this one right why didn't you get that one right if they do say that to you you can say my teacher didn't even tell me the sound today it's not your fault if you don't know if I don't even tell you all I'm giving you is one tiny clue so if you get them wrong or you make a mistake or you've got no idea it doesn't matter it's not your fault it's my fault sound number three is at least I'll win today because because I'm not giving you the sound I'm just giving you a tiny clue just an action I'll probably win today I think the children won't get any and I'll probably get all of the points so never mind sound number four is that's a tough one if you can't do it if you've got no idea just put a cross an x marks the spot number five is this sound pause if you need to. This one. I want to think how she was without giving you a clue. Okay. Is not this, this. Next is this one. I've hurt my knee. What might I say? And last one. I imagine that lots of you know what the sound is, but this is really difficult to write. 
starts with an F. Let's look at the board and see how you got on. Okay, so sound number one was, did you get it? E. E, what can you see? If you got it right, give it a tip. Just remember that actually this was a bit of a trick spelling test today because if your teacher doesn't speak to you, how will you know which sound to write? So if you've got, if you missed any of these, it's not your fault. It is definitely my fault. Your next sound was or shut the door or shut the door. Sound number three. What was it? Ink. Ink. Well done. Sound number four. I did this and it was A, may I play? But I wonder if you might think it was I fly high. But that was A, may I play? Okay, if you did miss any of them out or put crosses because you weren't sure, you can just write it alongside. Next sound, I think most of you would have been able to recognise the action, but maybe not have been able to write it. It was, oh, oh, blow the snow. Oh, blow the snow. Next. Oh, whirl and twirl. Oh, whirl and twirl. What's that other er uh, sound? Ah. Oh, uh, a better... Letter, well done. Next sound. Well done. And then I didn't want you to think it was k, so uh is a bit lower, isn't it? Uh, uh, look at the book. You can draw the eyeballs, but you don't have to. Your choice. Number nine, I didn't know if you could see my knee. I was saying, ow, ow, shout it out. This is always really hard for children to remember how to write this one. I don't know why. If you did it, it's well done. And your last sound, a really, really difficult um, trigraph was ear, here with your ear. E, A, F, R, ear, here with your ear. Quite difficult. If you got even one right, that's amazing. If you got some of your spellings right without your teacher even speaking to you and you still know what she meant, that's incredible, even if you got one. If you got more than one, fantastic. Well done. Give yourselves a round of applause. Hi there. This is today's mask, a triceratops. What does try mean? Try. Triceratops, triangle, tricycle. Try means three. So why am I a triceratops? Count my horns. One, two, three. Three horns, a three-horned triceratops. Do you remember that was my favourite one? Can you remember if triceratops are carnivores or herbivores? Remember, they are herbivores. They eat plants, they don't eat each other or other dinosaurs. So this is today's mask. Oh, I can see some of you have got masks on today. Hi, Spider-Man. Cool, guys. Okay, today's literacy task is not actually a writing task. It's more reading, but you've got some difficult words to read, and so have I. Last night, I did my homework, and I put, I labelled the parts of an insect, and then my brother moved them all, and now I'm just so confused, I really need your help, please. He was really mean to me yesterday. He was um, flicking peas at me across the dinner table when my mummy wasn't looking. Every time she turned around, he put a pea on a spoon and he flicked it. And one got me right in the eye. 
I do really mean to you guys. I'll speak to my mummy about putting him on the amber light, I think. Have a look at your work today. Okay, so you've got your own insect, but the insect I've got today is called a crane fly. I didn't know they were called crane flies. I always called them daddy long legs. Some people call them crane flies, some people call them daddy long legs. And the daddy long legs has how many legs does it have? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many wings? One, two. How many eyes? One, two. How many antenna? One, two. When there's more than one, they're called antennae. Antennae, here they are. Sticking up at the top of the crane fly's head. And the body? Anything else? Let's label him. Now, I labelled him yesterday, my brother moved everything. Here are all the words. Now, I'm going to start with the easier ones. So, I know that this label line is pointing to his leg. Or egg leg. Let's find or... Which one starts with or? Ah, this one. Or egg leg. Leg. Um, this one's pointing to wing, w, i, m, w, i, m, wing. Let's find w for wing. Oh, right down here. Let's move that across. Mine are on the whiteboard, so I can move them like this. But what you'll need to do is look at your words, cut them out, and then start to label your insect. Okay. Ah. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Um, this is confusing because this is pointing to an antenna and this is pointing to an antenna. I'm going to leave that one. I'm stuck. I'll come back to that. Okay, let's look at these words. A, ant, ant, f, u, a, ant, n, a. Antenna sounds like antenna. One antenna. Is there an arrow pointing to one antenna? Not both of them, just one, because both is antennae. One is antenna. Ah, oh, that's pointing looks like to both of them, so that must be antenna. Let's move that across. Okay, let's try and read the next word. A bud. Abd. Abdomen. 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 I know that word. We heard that the other day. I just can't remember what it is. Let's skip that one and move down. This is a very tricky word to read. It doesn't make sense. But this says I. I. It's not I as in I like sweets. It's not I as in I fly high. It's I as in I. So there are two eyes. There's the label line. Ah, I. I. So what I've done is sometimes I've looked at the picture and looked at the label that I know and then I've looked for the word and then other times I've tried to read the word and see what it means. Um, what's next? That says head. That's another tricky word spelling. Your adults might need to help you with these. Head. Eye. That's pointing to the eye. That's pointing to the antenna. This must be pointing to the head. The head. Now, I said body, but I can't find the word body. But if I look at the insect, the insect is made up of three parts. And we talked about it the other day. Do you remember when I drew my ant? Let me just find him. Here he is, and he had his head, his chest, and his belly. What did we call them? Head, 
chest is called a thorax. Thorax. Can you see a th sound anywhere on these words? Which one starts with the thorax? Ah, thorax. Double digraph. Or ax thorax. So the thorax is the middle part. One, two. Ah, this bit here. Can you see it's pointing to the middle of the body? So the thorax, the chest is in the middle. Thorax. So I've labelled everything apart from one part, and that's that word abdomen that we mentioned. So the abdomen must go down there. But what is abdomen again? The belly. So the three parts of the insect are the head, the chest and the belly, the head, the thorax and the abdomen. Ah, it starts to make sense now. Thank you for that. Hopefully I can show this to mummy before my brother ruins it again. Can you label your insect? Can you cut out all of the labelling parts of your insect's body, move them to the side? What might be a good idea is that you place your labels where you think they should go and then you check them at the end before you glue them. Because sometimes if you've made a mistake and put leg for his head and head for his leg, you might need to swap them around. So if you glue them, you won't be able to move them and swap them around and then glue them when you think you're ready. Okay, try really hard with your reading, everybody. Well done with your no sound spelling test today and I'll see you later on for maths.